Seems like your pronunciation is not as popular, Dola Gamer. I don't care what's popular, I make my own pronunciation. It's okay, also, I say Rayquaza instead of Rayquaza. Rayquaza, sorry. Looks like we're having a normal match with no switching in this token match. Clefairy, Polyrath, and Muck are on the blue team, and Skiploom, Porygon, and Weezing are on the red team. Neither teams have abilities or items. Well, this is a two-man set, so perhaps that's why. Also, I think it's worth saying that that Clefairy has my favorite move of all time. Metronome. Metronome? <laughs> Metronome. In my top list of favorite moves, I think that has to be up there too. But my favorite move for me is probably Roar of Time, because I love Dialga. Or Dialga. However y'all pronounce it. Dialga was the better of the trilogy of those legendaries, I think. Followed by Retainer. Yeah, I did not like Palkia. Nor did I. So, Primal Dialga from the Pokemon Street Dungeon series had some oh, amazing yes. boss music. I actually could never get through its dungeon. I got all the way up to its dungeon, but I could never beat it. I beat it eventually on my cartridge. I actually had to clear it a few times. Like, I, I, I went back later and I'm just like, alright, I want to die out off and I want to listen to that awesome music again. Dola Gamer Obsidian Punchbowl asked us if we pronounce it Arceus or Arceus? Arceus. That's the canonical way to pronounce it. I say Arceus. I actually have a little figurine of them that I got a long time ago. The first figurine I have is the plush that sits on my desk. Well, all bets are final. It looks like blue team is favored to win, but if red team do win, it's a 400% payout. Very large payout. And another Kirby song to see us off. I guess this <sighs> chat really does like us and our Kirby favorites. <laughs> Some of they love us, so they share our Kirby. But then it's hard to love Kirby. Not so Seems like the red one's gonna move first and go with the headbutt on Skip Loom instead of switching out into their poison type. Doesn't do very much damage. Skip Loom takes about half health and gets poisoned. Not looking very good for the red team. Lodge happens again. Bye bye. Skip Loon. It was nice knowing you. I mean, you are cute, but Kirby's cuter. Unfortunately, Kirby's cuter than most things. True. I mean, there's not much that can out cute a Kirby. Our little blocky Porygon is going to be sent out against this muck, which is going to use a sludge. 
Why would you? Why would you sludge Electric Soldier Porygon? Porygon uses the Tri Attack, doing some all right damage. This muck must be very tanky because Tri Attack is a very strong move. Ooh, and Muck goes for the Disable, taking out one of Porygon's strongest moves. The smart save right there. Muck goes for a dynamic punt and misses, misses, but Porygon goes for a blizzard, which Muck avoids. Big damage in the last round, I know. This is a clown fiesta. These guys don't even know how to hit their moves. Except now they do, and Muck does some good damage. Some great damage. And it also confuses the Porygon. Just so you know. Muck comes back with the sludge, and I think this will be enough to finish off Porygon. And Porygon is done. Is gone. Were you gonna say done? Maybe. <laughs> Here comes Weezing, a classic Team Rocket Pokemon. Ooh, Weezing used the Zap Cannon. Gonna take out that muck with a critical hit. Crit. Nice. Crit mattered, I think. But crit continue to matter. I mean, it's still gonna get through a uh, through this wonderful poly move ever. Polyrath goes for a dynamic punch. Not very effective on the poison type. But it will confuse it. I think that was the plan. Get it to attack itself. Seemed like Red Team had a chance if they could have gotten off the Zap Cannon, but now it's just a matter of luck. Polyrath goes for a Hydro Pump, which will do good, good damage on the Weezing. I keep saying good. I need a better adjective. Such a thesaurus. Fabulous damage. We <laughs> Meanwhile, we're using Mrs. itself. And Polyrath goes for attack. another Hydro Pump! Goodbye, Weezing! Polyrath. Nice. Seems like what, Blue what Team knew what they were doing. Mud under Blue and 24% uh, 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 payout. And that'll do us. It was nice being with you guys for a while. But unfortunately, our time is done. P.O. Yes. Chase has decided he's coming back. This was a very exciting match. Not really. But I'm sorry that we have to leave you guys. You know we love talking to you. Yeah, same. Well, I'll be around probably next week or if there's any emergency subs. But until then, bye. You guys will see me later soon too. We love you all, and remember to show your next commentators that you love them just as much as we love you. Bye, guys.
This is an important battle for both trainers. Neither side can afford to give up in this battle. And now, the battle begins. That hurt. A light hit. Its speed fell. A chilling breeze can be felt in the Colosseum. Annihilated by explosion! Taken down by an intense blow! But the attacker is down as well! is sent out. Latias is sent out. In terms of the number of remaining Pokemon, it's an even 50-50. Both sides still have a chance to win. A smashing blow. Its speed fell. A chilling breeze can be felt in the Colosseum. Pearl became badly poisoned. A smashing blow. Clampearl suffers from poison. Clampearl seems to be in pain. This could get dangerous if it lasts too long. A brilliant hit. Its speed fell. The battle is getting intense. The damage caused by poison is slowly increasing. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. Who's going to take the glory? Starts to 